there'll be poietin alpha, colony stimulating factor, erythropoiesis stimulating agent, hematopoietic agent used for the anemia due to chemotherapy in patients with cancer used for the treatment of anemia in patients with non-myeloid malignancies when anemia is due to the effect of concomitant myelosuppressive chemotherapy and upon initiation there is a minimum of two additional months of blind chemotherapy and for the treatment of anemia due to chronic kidney disease including patients on dialysis patients not on dialysis off-label use for the management of symptomatic anemia in lower risk myelodysplastic syndromes us vaccine warning cardiovascular events erythropoiesis stimulating agents increase the risk of death myocardial infarction stroke venous thromboembolism thrombosis of vascular axis in chronic kidney disease patients experienced greater risks of death serious adverse cardiovascular reactions and stroke when administered erythropoiesis stimulating agents to target a hemoglobin level of more than 11 gram per deciliter unfortunately no trial has identified a hemoglobin target level darbabitin alpha dose or dose strategy that doesn't increase these risks as a result use the lowest darbabitin alpha dose sufficient to reduce the need for red blood cells transfusions in cancer patients erythropoiesis stimulating agents shortened overall survival and increased the risk of tumor progression or recurrence in clinical studies to decrease these risks use the lowest dose needed to avoid rbc's transfusions use erythropoiesis stimulating agents only for the treatment of anemia from myelosuppressive chemotherapy erythropoiesis stimulating agents are not indicated for patients receiving myelosuppressive chemotherapy when the anticipated outcome is cure